Hey, don't forget to check out Rank Cafe wherever you get your podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, and so on. You can watch the episodes live as we make them on Twitch, links in the description. And of course, the links to all of our guests in each episode are in the description, so show them some love. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Animac from Anime Uproar, and welcome to another episode of the Rank Cafe Anime Podcast. This time, we are very timely. We're discussing Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's just about to come out a day from now, as of the recording of this podcast. And we're going to be talking about all the scandals and other crazy things that have been said about the game so far. It's been quite an uproar among massive nerds. Like Holy Jesus! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Noble. Joining us today, we have Noble. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How was cracking? Yeah, he really <laughs> wanted to be introduced first, everybody. Did I? No, I just wanted. To, I just thought you did made a funny. So I was just... ah, he did okay. make a funny. Yeah. Also joining us, we have Dimitri Monroe from the Dimitri Monroe Show. Hey, that's not my name, but you were close. So what is your name? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that's Monroe Show. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And it will be linked in the description of the YouTube video. This is true. Yeah. Well, now I'm totally confused. Like. This podcast is over. No, we also got, of course, Briggs and Knox. What's up, boys? Ayo. Yo, what up? I'm excited for this. I wanted to call it like talking about the Pokemon Sword and Shield hype, but whatever. We I won't. thought you were it's a YouTube master. You know that won't get any views. It's all about yeah. the scandals and controversy and social Twitch justice video. warriors. Come on, Knox. Like, hurry up and put Misty yeah, with no you. tits on in the in the thumbnail. All right, all right. <laughs> no that's tits enough. on. Yeah, that's where uh, my she, plan she was took her oh, tits off. Twitch stream Pokemon Sword and Shield hype, but the YouTube video, which like it needs like to be more clickable, mm. I think it should have a totally different title that has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Um, so like KSI versus Michael. Logan Paul, big tits, Did. SJW's owned. Very. All right. Well, like so the thing is, since we are all big anime fans, uh, and you know, that has a lot of crossover with Pokemon. We all know a lot about Pokemon, but not as much as the absolute mad lads we have with us today. Both Noble and Dimitri, the aforementioned mad lads, okay. are big into I Pokemon. Saying, they I like know to call every myself no- more of a casual fan, but, you know, thanks for the build-up, homie. <laughs> <laughs> we decide what you are. So this okay. podcast is actually about... Me, Animac, and Briggs having a great time watching these colossal titans of Pokemon experts kill each other. Great. Thanks, homie. So, this is a fight? <laughs> this is a fight? I don't, I'm not really a confrontational kind of guy. All right. No, that, that, was, I, that was actually a joke. I got, my, I got my money on Dimitri. Oh, uh, okay. All he right. seems more controversial and more, uh, he's, he, I think he's ready to go. Look at that yeah. smug smile in his freaking thing there. Oh. I can't beat that. I'm not smugger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if if you fight Dimitri, he fights dirty. He has like all these traps set up. Oh, ah, wow. I get it. Yeah, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh uh, reference, guys. Oh. A Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Of course. It all right, was. very cool. All right, so let's start this. I'm hyped for Sword and Shield, and despite the negativity, I am very excited to see what will come of it. And so where is the most of this negativity coming from? I know it's the about the national decks, and there's been a bunch of leaks. And people are like um, upset with like the quality of it. There's um, very low render distances, and it's just like overly like not greatly done. Yeah, also, there's also like, like a... the... oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, well, there's bad animations too. Apparently, that that I've been seeing like like sometimes like there's like an animation for double kick. Literally, I think the score bunny just hops up and it like yeah. does the animation. I've seen things like that. Um, I've seen just some, like, glitches here and there. Like, everything freezes when you go up a ladder. I'm not sure if that's intentional. Um... Yeah, that's probably intentional. I, I, I mean, I guess maybe it is. I, like, the whole world freezes when you go up a ladder. Um, so it's like freaking Dio in there. Uh, and I, yeah, again, I, I don't know Noble, if this is gonna be Noble. patched. So, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, Noble, but, uh, that was a missed opportunity to see, to say... The whole world though freezes when you go up that ladder. Oh shit! It's a serious I'm, to- I'm not... to- topic here, Adam Mac. It's a serious. Fucking topic. God yeah, I'm damn sorry. it! I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm forgetting <laughs> my meme game when I talk about. Po- of course, what am I doing? <laughs> you know he's serious because he said the world, not Zawardo. Yeah, he's serious. Yeah. That's that's right. He's so serious. it's, I mean, 
they say like i think half the decks is missing now but i think there's 600 pokemon confirmed for sword and shield now Nah, it's there's 400 right now and then in the di- data there's 35 others like bulbasaur who will be released later as an event like his data is uh, in there but there's okay. no way to transfer him okay so now that you mentioned it can i just say the game. that the fact that the charmander line is the only other uh starter line in sword and shield yeah. is hilarious, it's hilarious. Yeah. Troll. i love it i know people are upset about it because like there was always this massive controversy among the fans like oh i'm the charmander's guy you screwed a loser right you know what i'm talking about it's yeah. it's been a competition forever and charmander and so wins happy. every single time charmander i'm so happy has that like first of all squirtle is the best, squirtle is, <laughs> the squirtle best. is the best thank you I, I still prefer Charmander, even though he is getting way too much and, love. But, bro, have yeah. you met the Squirtle squad? I, I Yeah, but you only like them because one of them has Kamina glasses. I mean, yeah, that's literally... The that's only. a good reason to like them. The best one of them has Kamina glasses. <laughs> also, Blastoise is a fucking tank, man. Literally. I mean, Charizard's yeah. a dragon, yeah. but he's not. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. If he, sometimes if he, he, fire sometimes he is. I mean, it depends on the form great he time takes here, the Mega Evolution. Not talking about Bulbasaur. Okay, so the point is, okay, guys, the point is, uh, aside from this whole starter battle, what I've been getting from it is, I mean, all of us grew up with Pokemon. Even before we knew what anime was, we loved yes. Pokemon. So that is why this drama is kind of a big deal for us, and we're and we're definitely not just whining, you know. But mm-hmm. basically, there's been a backlash to the game so far that there's a lot of glitches that... Uh, they said they were taking out certain Pokemon from the Pokedex because they were going to give us more content and they needed room, memory for it. But then it turns out that they're not actually delivering what they promised. I mean, the and game also... is 10 gigs, so that's pretty huge for a Switch. Yeah, game. but they uh, they specifically said they were making new models. And then now, especially since the game has been dumped, we can tell that I mean, that they was did. a lie. They did do new models for the new Pokemon, so it's not <laughs> technically a lie. No, they, they, they specifically <laughs> said remade, though, is the thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, okay. every every time Masuda, I honestly think if Masuda did not open his mouth as much as he did, not a lot of this stuff wouldn't happen because a lot of this stuff is just him either straight up lying or saying things the worst possible when you can say them. Yeah. So there's been a bit of a backlash from fans, and then there's been a some backlash to the backlash from some people saying, "Oh, you fans are just crybabies." So it's been a delicious drama unfolding. Like, yeah, yeah. I tend to it's, like I'm, I mean, I'm okay with people complaining. Price, like, it clearly gets the job done if you look at the Sonic example. And like, like yeah. everyone has a right to like uh, advocate or like say what they want to say online. I'm a, I'm an advocate for free, free speech. But then yeah, I've also seen stories where people kind of go a little bit too far. Like you're tracking down these developers' private Instagrams and spamming hashtag national decks on their private Instagram. You're a little bit crazy. Like it's fucking Pokemon yeah. at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, find yeah there was a really bad case with Masuda where someone tried to like fake a sexual harassment case. This was really early on. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, no, we got really bad. Yeah. So it's like complain all you want, use the hashtag all you want, but like people are just going a little bit too far or a yeah, lot I mean, of it too the far. Yeah, I mean, it's just a game. And like, I mean, to be fair, I think we would have all been happier if Magikarp would have just been like the OG yellow sprite. Am I right? <laughs> I agree with that. Okay, strong sure. on that. Thank you. I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, there's both sides like fanaticism on like, I mean, like you have the people that just want to enjoy a Pokemon game and they don't really care about all the other stuff. And then yeah, they have the people yeah. who want absolute perfection uh, no matter what because they want the best for the series. And I get that too. Like, because they want the series to continue growing and being better. And, better. and then you have the people that are like, wait, a new Pokemon game is coming out? Like, okay. <laughs> like, that's, that's legit me. Oh, Pokemon? Cool, I'll get, I'll get that tomorrow. Yeah. Let's do a podcast on it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, and that's how we got here. Obviously, the whole thing about, like, yeah, getting way too into it, harassing people, or just going crazy about it is not something anyone should do. Like, find a better use for your time. But, I mean, I think there's legitimate criticisms to be brought up because this is a game that is, like, 60 bucks plus tax US, like, 80 bucks Canadian, 60 euros. Like, that's a lot of money. So Yeah, it's also 50% more than every other Pokemon game in existence up to this point for what is arguably less content in the main line. Well, other than the it's last two one. games yeah. because Pokemon is always two games for the full uh, Pokemon experience, you know. Yeah, so. I've never been a fan of. It. 
Yeah, that's always that's <laughs> always your yeah. kind of. What the heck? I want to be I able to catch like both an Ekans and a Sandrew. <laughs> thank you. I, I'm not. I don't know why they don't do it on just one single game. It's kind of yeah. like I get it. They want people to be, make friends and spread word of mouth about it, and it's kind well, of both. at this point. Yeah. Yeah, but especially with this one, there's like uh, specific gym leaders for each one. So like the content problem would be kind of um, less of a problem if they just combined them. Because now they're getting to the point where they're making exclusive content, not just Pokemon for both versions. Like, you get 10 gym leaders in total if you add them all together, I think. That's pretty cool. It's five in each game? No, no, no. There's um, there's seven in each, but, like, they have two exclusives or one exclusive or something. I don't know the exact number. Yeah. I think uh. it was just Bea and the... Um, uh, Ghost Boy. And the boy. Yeah, I was trying to yeah. remember his name. I was like, ah, oh, it starts with an A, maybe Al, Al, Alistair? Yeah, Alistair? Alistair, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for people who are completionists, because I personally, I just play one game. Like, I just played Pokemon Sun. Like, I wasn't going to play Sun and Moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used Dude, to wait for I think I've ever There's been people who just turned off all the from a Pokemon game as Pokemon Sun, and I feel like I will be so happier, so much happier to breathe Sword and Shield. Yeah, Why? I'm not a big fan of Sun. Anime. I mean, there's people who uh, catch every single Pokemon in every single Pokemon game, and that's why. Yeah, like, that's crazy. There are people that do that just for shinies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. These I, people yeah. care. I use my starter, get them up to like level seventy, and then beat the elite four, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I did for the original. Yeah, blue. I think I got. I just used Charmander all the way. Yeah, you just so use yo, you just use Charmander and legendaries, and you're Gucci. <laughs> that's true. Me too. Beat it in two Gucci. days and call it a day. And then return it. That's what I, I literally bought a 3DS, played the, the, the new game for it, um, beat it in two days, and then returned it. Oh, my God. <laughs> but there's content after the Elite Four. At least in Sun there was. <laughs> not in this one. Yeah, apparently not in this yeah. one. Yo, well, Emerald yeah. was the like best tower, game. You know how much content there was after yeah, Emerald? They, they brought the Battle Tower back, but they don't have champions now. It's like what? kind of neutered version of it. Yeah. What? No. It's not the great. The tower was only cool because, like, they brought back red and blue. And... Yeah. No, they used to have great. special people at the top. Now it's just, like, a gauntlet of random trainers. Oh. Uh, well. Well, if, do we at least get, like, bug catcher Timmy? I'm sure he's in there somewhere. 100%. Sure he's yeah. Youngster sure Ricky. the Magikarp, like, trainer in there, too. Always. Is, can't is, is Magikarp confirmed for this game? I don't even know. <laughs> I, let me see. I think I think it is. I believe he is. I really don't want him to be because I've fought enough, man. I don't <laughs> want any more. I don't want more magic. I armor. like I want them to put in Zubat and not Swoobat. That's all I wanted, okay? No, I don't even want Zubats. I'm sick of Zubats. <laughs> yeah, Zubats. man. Every I cave every I cave can't. Zubats just ruin your life. I can't fight them. I want to walk Carp through a cave in fact in and the game. find oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I hate ah, to be the one to tell you this. Fucking <laughs> hell. You just made my day. If it makes you feel any better, there's no Zubats. All right. Thank God. All right. <laughs> Come That's on. Something. I like Crowbat. I'll take that. That's at least something. But I'm excited. I'm excited to beat the entire game with Magikarp so I could do a video saying beating the entire game with Magikarp. <laughs> with Magikarp. I watched that video. It was pretty cool. Um, also, Nuts, you are you actually going to get the game and maybe Twitch stream on your Twitch that you made and has like 10,000 followers but never oh, fucking God. streamed once? Hmm? It has 10,000 followers? No. I don't know. I just made up a number, but I'd imagine it has more than Rank Cafe at this point. No, I mean, I haven't even been like shouting it out and stuff. It still has more than my, my Twitch channel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should stream one day. Can you please? Okay. Can you please stream? <laughs> one day. It's, 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 it's bothering me. It's <laughs> Okay, the point is, I think that with this Pokemon game, I mean, I enjoyed Sun, but I definitely think that the game format of these Pokemon games is quite similar in every game. And there, you could argue that there is a lack of creativity in terms of the actual plot and all that type of stuff. Now, I'm not a competitive player. I don't know if any of you guys are. Like, you play online against no. top players, I stuff like that. Used to. I have played yeah, like, competitively, actually. But uh, I, I like the game mechanics. I think that that game itself, the actual battles, is really, really fun. But not yeah. while playing the games. Like, playing the games takes absolutely zero brain power. You could literally rub two brain cells together to win the entire game. But when you're yeah. playing actual other people, pretty it's Gucci, fun. as Briggs yeah, would say. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's true. So I, didn't say that I haven't once. really done that much, but I do think that there is a lot of complicated mechanics and stuff that can go into a proper one-on-one match. It has one of the best like... battle systems in anime. Sorry to cut you off. I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't it win one of our battle system um, brackets? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. A long time ago. Yeah, it, time it was like right? second or third place. That would never win with Hunter Hunter existing in Nox's mind. True. Or in anyone else's mind that actually finished Hunter Hunter, Animac. No, I love oh. Hunter Hunter right now, bro. Animac's legs are, are jacked. I'm, after I'm all at that, that point right now. I'm at that point right now in York New where the the Phantom Troop goes all out. And I'm just like... Oh, yeah, <laughs> like the the Phantom, episode 51. Yeah, that's where I'm at. 51. Love that. How many episodes are there in Hunter Hunter? 148. That's a lot. That's pretty early. Really? I used to, yeah. I, don't know, I thought that was closer <laughs> to I thought that was closer to the end of the uh the anime. Well, no. the the Chimera Antar goes from like 75 to 136 or something. Mm. Yeah, that was that one felt really long. It was. But uh Okay. Speaking of the Chimera Ant arc, uh, let's talk Pokemon. <laughs> let's yes. talk about is there any ant based Pokemon. Uh... As far as the <laughs> National Dex controversy goes, which I think really was the biggest controversy. Yeah, Am it I... definitely yeah. was. I mean, no, there was another one that was pretty big, Can... and that was the whole, you know, Nessa thing. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one was uh, an issue. Where... Really a controversy that actually got out of Twitter. Like, it stayed within the confines of Twitter. Can someone explain no, to me what national? De- <laughs> can someone explain to me what national decks is? All right. Well, like usually in Pokemon, you can have in usual Pokemon games, you can have all the Pokemon, you know, migrate to your game once you've beaten Elite Four. But this time, you can only have uh, four hundred out of eight hundred, is the thing. Mm. And I think I think people's bigger complaint overall is that like you know, like Monster Hunter World is an example I always use. It has way less monsters than the last few games, but like graphically it's more impressive there's all these new systems it's more so that there's no trade-off for cutting half of our pokemon you know i I mean mean, to be fair it does introduce a lot of new things i mean to like you say like there's no z moves or there's no like mega evolutions but dynamaxing is literally the same thing as both of them combined like it's literally the same goddamn thing so i mean they can't complain about that you have no ground to complain about that it's literally I mean, the same thing. Well, I, I I'm, think I'm not a huge person, fan of Z-moves. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. You're saying? No, you can go. No, I mean, I agree with you. I'm not a big fan of Z-moves. But I think a lot of people, at least from my perspective, Pokemon never innovates. What it does is it either it makes a new mechanic, does not expand it, removes it next game with something that's vaguely similar. Like, I don't like Z-moves. I think Z-moves are the worst thing they added. I like Megas. And Dynamaxing, like you said, is basically the same as Megas. Yeah, they get it. They even get a new form. So, like, yeah. And in the return is, of big is... fat Pikachu, I mean, that's a win. I do, like fat, I do like fat Pikachu. Fat Pika is, is <laughs> totally a win. Yeah. Um, and the, the meme that's... Meowth. It's just long cat. Yeah, the meme Meowth and the big fluffy <laughs> Eevee. It's like another thing I need to buy now. Like, great. <laughs> but the thing is... <laughs> You can only get that Pikachu if you own Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Well, same with Eevee. Same with yeah, Eevee. I don't like that as well. I'm not oh, a big fan. yeah, it's just a money grab. But yeah. let me tell you why Rank Cafe is the greatest place to be in the live chat. We just had a guy called Pete Buttigieg 2020 say <laughs> there's only 150 Pokemon. Got to catch them all. Yeah. I mean, you got to join us live here at rankcafe.tv. I mean... Damn it. Twitch.tv. <laughs> damn, you got your own website now. Yeah, That's I got to register that domain now. Damn. Oh, shit. You should be letting Pete here run the podcast. <laughs> no, but no, I'm not registering domains, man. It costs a lot of money. If it did like 60 bucks. But depending on the domain. Mm-hmm. I just know like the start. Uh, it's, usually, it's usually about 60 bucks. Whatever. Well, as far as megas go. All right. Back to megas. Okay. Sure. I like mm-hmm. the game mechanic. I like playing Pokemon with Megas, like that you can use one Mega in your team. I find that really cool. From a lore standpoint, I did not really love it when it was introduced. Because it hurts them? I'm kind of used to it. Because what? It but... in- intruded upon the sacred Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Dig- <laughs> How dare they steal from Digimon? How dare they? <laughs> 
Do you yeah, dream not of? like they've ever done that before. Mm. Oh. But the games are fun. I don't know what Gigantamaxing is going to be like in the actual, like, competitive it's, games or on Showdown. It's it's going to be just like they turn big. It's pretty much the same as Megas. Only one could turn big per fight. I think it's like three or five-ish turns you get. It's, yeah. It? yeah. Something like three. that. Yeah, and then you can use your moves, whatever, be really overpowered for a few turns, and then you shrink down, and then you hope to win the battle. That's pretty much it. Without Megas most, and I don't think they're doing this with Gigantamaxing, correct me if I'm wrong, it's amazing because they have different abilities. It's not the moves or the getting better stats or whatever that's cool. It's the fact that your strategy is now surrounded by the different abilities that the Pokemon get when they Mega Evolve. Like, for example, Sableye's Mega Evolution has Magic Bounce, which is phenomenal, and you can build an entire team around that. But the first turn you have Sableye out there, you don't have Magic Bounce. You have Prankster or whatever, so you can't rely on blocking a first Stealth Rock with the switch in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Any some Pokemon strategy. have that, actually. I think yeah. the ones that trans... Because some Dynamaxing, it's called, like, Gigamaxing or something. Uh, they get a new ability, I think. Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. They get a new form. But not every Pokemon does it. I th I, and there are abilities tied to when they Gigantamax or whatever, Dynamax, whatever, man. I don't... <laughs> the game's not <laughs> Too out many yet. maxing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not out yet. I don't know the specifics yet. I, I'll, I'll tell you in, what, what is it, five-ish hours? Th maybe six? <laughs> six when I get the game. Are you doing a 24-hour stream? Yeah, yeah. That's I will awesome. be doing a 24-hour. So uh, That'll be fun. I'll probably stream on uh, on Saturday because I can't tomorrow cheese. I probably won't stream. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, didn't didn't see that Not one surprised. coming. Not surprised. Can you just do one stream? I'd be satisfied with one. If you like did one stream and then never streamed again, I'd be okay with that. Let's do one stream. All right, fine. Tell me how to stream and I'll do it. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> Are you um is everyone here getting Pokemon? Uh well yes. Yeah, I got it pre ordered. Cool. Often that actually comes later. Then if you do a just... 24 hour stream without the game. Oh, did no, you pre-order <laughs> like a hard copy versus like a Yeah, I hard copied it. Hard copy. It's 10 gigs. It's yeah. too it's too much. And the Switch doesn't have much. a pretty uh, have a hard for drive. Switch, yeah. Yeah. Like I downloaded a Call of Duty the other day and the main file was 78 gigs and then there was three supplement files that were like 12 gigs each. I'm like, god damn, this is bigger than this one game could not fit on my entire Switch. <laughs> I got it for Xbox, obviously. Oh, yeah, speaking nice, of dude, digital, nice, I feel like uh, speaking is, of um, digital, Nintendo's actually letting people return their digital orders, which never happens. Oh, really? The only, yeah, the other time it happened was for um, oh, uh, Overwatch, Tokyo Mirage, wasn't it? Uh, Overwatch is one, I think. Maybe yeah. Tokyo yeah, Mirage Sessions is one because they didn't announce that it was the censored version for Japan, and Japan was not happy with that, so they gave it to that. So that means there's. There's something they're not happy with with Pokemon. I don't know what it is, but they're allowing it for that as well. Probably because of the uh, because of the outrage, people who pre-ordered like months, months ago are like, "Okay, this is ridiculous." Like, yeah, with if, Japan yeah. didn't even get an official announcement about the next code until very recently, like mm. right before. It came out. I like how we're just talking well, about how hyped we are for it right now, rather than any controversies behind it. Well, we're mixing it. I told in. you that's why yeah. I wanted to call it hype because honestly, yeah. I'm just purely excited for it. I know yeah. that it, you know it would be nice if it had every Pokemon. I agree, but in all, I'm very, very excited. Mostly f from a lore perspective because I love yeah. Pokemon lore. I mean, you get you get Scottish um, Pokemon trainer. That's really cool. I really like that. And I mean, that's not what choices. I meant by lore, but yeah, oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that solid. is important lore to me. That is important to me. I think. Yeah, I cool. mean, the trainers are what I really care about. I'll be honest. Yeah. I think that I don't. I doubt that this will be better than Pokemon Sun in terms of the lore, because I actually thought that Pokemon Sun had a pretty good story. I thought that Team Skull was badass. I loved those guys. So I don't know, man. I think. Well, if you're comparing them to like Team Magma or Team Flare, I hear that. But they were like beatboxers and rappers, like yeah. Now I, I'm not even a big fan of Sun and Moon, but I really like its characters a lot. Like uh, like the Gladian family, Lily, them, Lusame. Oh yeah, the the yeah, mama. That was my favorite yeah, character that was introduced. <laughs> uh, who? 
Best MILF in Pokemon right there. Jesus Christ. Debatable, but I'll, I'll accept your iPod. <laughs> Noble, do you know what starter you're going to go with? Uh, I was going to go with Sobble until I saw the evolution. <laughs> Same! Like, I'm going to go with Scorbunny. <laughs> I like cool. Scorbunny a lot. He looks like a little Shonen. Uh, Shonen Scorbunny anyway. Yeah, I like fire types anyway. I've always been fire type. No, but th- I always thought that was cheap because usually you start off with like bug and grass Pokemon being the main guys you're fighting. So starting with fire is just like a, you know. Well, in the like, first game, fire type was the worst to start with. Yeah, you all you also like, isn't the first gym like almost always water or like in the original? It was, it was rock and then water, which was fire type could do shit to. They were terrible. Yeah, but you could also at least you learned metal claw, which still doesn't do anything. <laughs> but what you could do, guys, what you could do is you can get a Pikachu and then, like, hook it up to a electric charger and then just crush an Onyx with it. <laughs> yes, or course. just get the Onyx. Trigger, get... like, a sprinkler system yeah, or whatever. I was just about to say that. <laughs> that doesn't quite work. I ground type. Uh, logic. All right, anyway. <laughs> I guess. Sure, why not? New anime goes. I'm not excited for that either. I was disappointed with animes for Pokemon for a while. Yeah, I honestly, been since the in a long Diamond time. and Pearl, to be honest, I kind of liked the the ending of the Gen Six anime where they were uh, they had the big fights with um, it was like Ash Greninja. Those looked really cool. I didn't get that got me far back enough. in for a while. You mean against the Mega Charizard? Yeah, yeah. No, I like that. I like I like that rival a lot. Actually, he got his own special. They like actually built him up. <laughs> This is the first time I cared about the Pokemon anime in, like, years. Yeah, for me, since Diamond and Pearl, it's been pretty meh. And a lot of people were saying how uh, Sun and Moon is amazing, that anime. And I did watch, like, a good chunk of it. I could not get into it. I feel like Pokemon needed to be an adventure, and this was a slice of life, and it just I didn't work for me. The The new anime they're coming out with, which is interesting, actually doesn't, according to, like, reports and stuff, doesn't just take place... In Gen 8, they're going across, like, every region. If you look at the poster, they have the legendaries from each region there. So that could be interesting. That's cool. I mean, yeah. as long as they keep up the meme game with Beware, <laughs> I'll be, like, totally great. And as long as the villains aren't just Team Bumble losers, you whatever. The- the world. <laughs> I'm going to flood the world. No, I'm going to make the world a freaking landmass. Right. <laughs> All right. So Team Magma and Team Aqua were not exactly intellectual titans. <laughs> well, <laughs> the villains in uh, Fire Force are just as bad, unfortunately. <laughs> Fire right. Force. Oh, my God. Oh, the man. villain's like, I'll turn to Earth into a new sun. Why? The fuck? <laughs> 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 I have to admit, I have not stuck with Fire Force as much as I wanted to. Like, there were a few things that turned me off, um, and I'm just too busy. The entire like anime? Vinland Saga going on right now. Now that is a classic anime. Mm-hmm. What? Vinland Saga is so good. I wonder how far they're gonna go into the manga. Because if they get to the the farm <clears throat> part, that uh, that'll be amazing. All right, Vinland Saga is the only anime that could sex- could successfully pull off an arc called the Farm Arc. I just the way I refer to it, <laughs> but um, I, it might be called that. I don't know. <laughs> like the Chimera Ant Arc, the Ninja War Arc, and the Farm Arc. It's That's amazing, what I'm dude! For. It's amazing. I, I mean, wonder I, what episode are they on right now. 15, 17? fifteen, seventeen, seventeen. I have no idea. Or whatever, 16, I think seventeen out of like twenty-four. Yeah. Hmm. They're probably not going to get to that arc. It's probably going to end before that. Rip. Season 2 hype. Season 2 hype? Yeah, more or less. I am, uh, in a nutshell, in regards to the Pokemon stuff. I don't um, care. <laughs> I don't care. Lots of people I'm don't scared. care. That's, that's the general consensus. Lo- most people do not care. I mean, it's only really the hardcore fan base that's like really really wants pokemon to be like the most greatest game ever i wouldn't Um, say people are asking for the greatest game ever they're just asking for the quality it used to sit at i like mm, like there are there are there are videos of models popping in and out 
they they like go the trees look bad and i'm just like boy have you ever played a pokemon tree uh, like a pokemon game all the trees are the fucking same and they're lined up <laughs> but it's all the same they're all awful like, i mean it's a bit sorry go on. there's some petty freaking arguments about that and i'm like come on like get over that and the game is finally you get an open field where you're able to see for miles that's like a unprecedented so in all the in other games minutes yeah you can explore it. Uh, well, I don't know if that's confirmed yet. The game's not out yet. I'll well, yeah, how I'll long is the actual you can story? Uh, it's about 16 hours total, the game, mm. I believe. Yeah. Um, and Pretty short. Fun. That's really short yeah. for a Pokemon uh, game. Yeah. Well, I feel like most Pokemon, I, I think, I think Pokemon games, you yeah. can beat the Elite Four average, like, under, like, under 15. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I think that's average, honestly. That's not that's bad. pretty average. It's just how much extra like, content, exclusive content is there, right? Yeah, there's just I don't know. Like there's a lot of cool stuff in Pokemon, and I'm really hoping that even if from, you know, uh, a graphic standpoint, it is not as epic as everyone's hoping for. And even if there isn't a national dex, and even if there isn't that stuff, I will be personally upset if there isn't really cool lore shiz going on. I want multiverse stuff. I want to <laughs> see that developed. I want to see you know, some really cool things and themes that were introduced until this point. I want it so to be why, like... Why didn't you like Sun, then? Sun was... Like what they like from Sun, I would assume. Yeah. That That's everything that's good about Sun, but it didn't yeah. have the basic Pokemon backbone that it needed. Like, tr whatever the trial things are called, that's really lame. Like, I feel like when I'm playing the original Pokemon games, there's, like, this massive dream of becoming the Pokemon Master. But in Sun yeah. and Moon, I don't feel that at all. Yeah, in, in this game, what they did, which I think is better than the Totems, you have the, the gym battles, and then instead of the Elite Four, you do a tournament, kind of like the animes do. Yeah, that's that's pretty yeah. dope. I like that. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah. I'm all about I those tournament arts. Four is kind of dumb. I like, I'd, I'd rather win, like, a freaking Battle Royale here. Everyone duking it out, and I become the champ. That's that's cool. I mean, they're 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 technically the same thing. I, is, I mean, I like that they're doing something different, but they're both battle. Is royale. it is it is it not really a battle royale? Just like you face one opponent after another, like tournament yeah. style, bracket style. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, bracket just, style. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Sounds like a round cafe episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. By the way, if you guys want to check out on my Twitter at Anime Uproar, I just tweeted why I think Score Bunny has the best evolutions out of all the starters. Akuki's not bad. It's not. No, he's bad. definitely posting some freaks. Yeah, stuff. I don't like. I don't like Grokey because he's a poop monkey. All funny. right, it was, uh, it was definitely furry <laughs> stuff, but it was not what I expected. So yeah. kudos. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, so here's what I always thought, and I mean, I'm guessing that they still haven't done this. Because it's just a lot more money for them to sell every game for like 60 bucks each every time they release one. But I've been saying for like 10 years, if not more, that Pokemon needs to become an online MMORPG. Well, it exists. It exists. Like an official one. Dimitri, you know this stuff. Huh? What's it called? The online Pokemon game? Yeah, there the is RPG. a Pokemon MMO, isn't it? Or something like that? I can't remember. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't play any of the Pokemon online games. Yeah. And I don't, I don't play it either. But it's a thing. That sounds like it, an amazing it, it idea. Is, yeah, yeah, no, it definitely exists. I mean, what I really want from Pokemon is, um, almost like an open world type thing in that I could go to any gym. Did you guys ever watch, uh, Pokemon Origins? And you can kind yeah. of see that, like, Brock has like a specific set of Pokemon for how many badges you can have. Like, that's the kind of thing I would really want. More so than they're, they're not even giving us a national decks. You think they're gonna give us every region of, of, of <laughs> oh, gameplay? <laughs> yeah, I no, think... no, 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 no. But I mean, I mean, one region, but you can like you choose your starting town, mm. you can go wherever you want. So, Pokemon would just scale with your level, That's yeah, ba yeah, basically. Quick question about um, the like tournament at the end after like you play, like, you win the tournament, is there a champion afterwards? I would assume so. I didn't watch all of the game because when people it leaked i watched a bunch of streams like i didn't want to spoil everything mm. but i'm going to assume so because it like at the end of the day if it's just a tournament then you're just beating another like i guess uh like trainer right and if you yeah. like whatever win the tournament i feel like that should give you the right to challenge like a champion kind of like after like you play the elite four yeah yeah i think it's probably something like that like there's like, like whoever wins gets the right to play exactly because then there's still like the dream of becoming like the pokemon master champion thing 
the tournament is so easy because you get healed after every fight. That's lame. Oh, like, yeah. so I, that I'm looking at me, this. I'm... Oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I'm looking at this Pokemon MMO thing, but I it looks like it's just like an unofficial fan thing, right? Yeah, yeah. it's all unofficial. It's all yeah, because I think what all... they should do is do an official thing where instead of releasing these games, they just have you playing an MMO online constantly and then ju they just introduce expansions. Yeah, yeah the thing is, though, like, for. it's got to be like on a console, and console MMOs really don't do well. Yeah. No, but think about it. Like, you could, you could have. It, like you okay i want to be a gym leader i want to start my own gym i can start my own gym i can earn money in game from being a gym leader or from i don't know being nurse joy or whatever like i think that would be an amazing idea to have a constantly ongoing open pokemon world where your hard work can actually pay off and you become more competitive uh and all this other type of stuff like i've always wanted this sounds to... like a pokemon sims game <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I think mean, that's, that's pretty great. Cool. Yeah. Like, there's a, there's a legit, <laughs> like, elite four Carl. of every region. There's a legit champion. Like, yeah. like a real person. Not and, a then, and then you okay, find MMO. a girl, you have a baby, and then the kid grows up and he goes out to venture in Pokemon. <laughs> I can't wait for the quest where they say they kill uh, 12 Pidgeys and then bring the feathers back to a, <laughs> back to a merchant. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's I would definitely be in life. I would be down for that, and I think that that's the future, especially once VR technology finally, you know, becomes mainstream. I think that's the way to go. I know they're probably think they're gonna make more money by selling these constantly, but you could do a subscription model. Like I would much prefer that. Like that's where the content would come in, not 15, 16 hours, but countless hours of content. I think that's a good idea. Thing but, uh, called to... Poke MMO that a lot of people like. It's basically, it is an open world. You pick your starting region. First of all, you have to just download all the different uh, maps, basically. You pick your starting region, and um, you basically gallivant around. And you see other trainers in your server, like, walking around as well. And yeah, you can but challenge you can't other that, people. You can't compare that to the if the official uh, Game Freak decided to do it. And because it's a no, fan thing, not. Game Freak could also shut it down at any time, right? So that's something else you got to think about. Yeah. Uh, to get into what Noble was saying, I doubt a game could really pull it off, like in our lifetime, <laughs> like a, like a yeah. VR type thing. Like you, you would need to like have a, like a raid system of like fighting Pokemon. Mobs. Did you say raid? This video is not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, no, but you should no, definitely no. check them out. Oh yeah, no, it God. isn't. But my previous video earlier this week was. So thank you. You guys all got raided. <laughs> Oh my god! All right. I just wow. I just got that deal with the devil. I did but raid is actually hands. a good game though. For a tweet month. man, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Roasting us raiders here. <laughs> um. Oh, so I was just saying, like, if you look at any like MMORPG on consoles, they're usually like pretty shit, and the console can't handle it. And PC, yeah, like, it's all way garbage. better. It has to be a PC, but Nintendo yeah. will never go. Fourteen's PC. the one exception. Yeah, and yeah, Nintendo wouldn't. It's just a fantasy that's never going to happen. I mean, it's Good been idea. my that's why it's never gonna 10 years, yeah. Maybe another, someone, like, several decades. Yeah, someone in the chat was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That's why Game Freak will never do it. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, shots fired. It's, it's, it's more tied to Nintendo. Game Freak is still not the powerhouse of a company that Nintendo is. It's still not that big. They don't even get most of their profits. Yeah, right. Right. One, one, they, one they more a... brainstorming here. Hear me out. Hear me out. Pokemon Fortnite. All right. I want to need you to take that back. Oh. <laughs> honestly, honestly, that, like <laughs> low key, that'd be a genius idea. <laughs> like, I, like it sounds furries running around. <laughs> it sounds super cringe. But like, no, let's imagine like you're a trainer. You get like, um, kind of like the open world thing Adamac was saying, but like. One Everyone person. gets chucked out of a helicopter, and you have to like <laughs> run in different houses to find Pokemon. <laughs> Catch Pokemon, like like low key train them on the side or whatever, and then um, if you like make all their Pokemon faint, they're out of the battle royale. A hundred trainers, one wins. I'd fucking play oh, that. Oh, I was thinking like you start as a random Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was you... gonna say it'd be better if you could real time <laughs> yeah. fight as Pokemon. You, you yeah. start I mean, you as a Charmander. And yeah, that's you right. Get... You start off as a Pokemon, and you run into a house. You pick up an AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You get power-ups, like uh, an extra move or something. Like you can use like your ultimate, your second move, your third move, fourth mm. move. Also, like, you could get dropped. Can... Instead of getting dropped out of a flying 
helicopter or bus, you get dropped off a of Lugia's back. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, every time this you take out, a, every time you take out life another, as we speak. Every time you take out another Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, you gain their experience. Yeah, yeah, you gain their experience, and then you can evolve. And then Charmander's an option, but Squirtle and uh, Bulbasaur aren't. <laughs> That's a game <laughs> Shit. Did I, did I make it too real? <laughs> God damn. It'd have to be like a three, like every Pokemon in it would have to be like a three evolution Pokemon, I feel. And you know what'll be the greatest part? Pokemon Fortnite comes out and people will be like, bro, there's no national decks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn no, but it. I mean this render distance. Oh, there's no, there's no shadow to this tree that looks like crap. <laughs> no, but think about it, man. That Pokemon Arena, Battle Arena thing that you're, you guys are talking about could be one aspect of the mmo where you can earn money in game money and stuff through winning matches like i i think that's the only way for so it to... instead of a, like what was what is it the v bucks you get p bucks <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you get okay. no but i'm, I'm saying I think that's already a thing in pokemon all yeah. all games are going online eventually anyway like you know consoles i like them but everything is online hooking up online you can go you can use pokemon online already but just with uh, with like one-on-one -on -one matches and stuff but i think that having a pokemon open world mmo online would be amazing like i always wanted to be a gym leader have my own gym pick my the types i can use for my gym like that that's sick yeah well, and i'm not you, the type of guy to become pokemon, pokemon master he just wants to settle down <laughs> settle yeah down, so pokemon uh... go is totally different but you could integrate it with pokemon go so for example if you accomplish certain things in Pokemon Go, you get rewarded by being able to import your Pokemon into the MMO. Like, fucking Game Freak, just hire me, man. <laughs> Animax got those ideas. Hire me, I have all the ideas. Isn't, like, their, um, their actual game uh, department, like, the smallest department with the least amount of uh, resources? I, yeah, I mean, like, Nux is always, like, like, trying to talk, but his voice isn't popping up. I see, I see the green bar. Hey, Nux. No, he's typing. Lie. Yeah, he's well, typing. I, I, I hear you typing. I make sure honestly. that uh, I was not typing. No thumbnails. <laughs> my my attention is one hundred percent on the conversation. <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> Let me just close a few tabs. No. I'm <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. Ooh. I mean, I don't think I Sword think. and Shield, or I don't think Game Freak's development is as small as people like to let on. Like they wrote an article that hundred k people worked on the game. They outsource all the models to Creatures Inc. Um, Game Freak's not a small indie developer. They are making the most profitable, the biggest franchise um, at this point in time. So it's like kind of like uh, fake news that's spreading around that they have a small department and like their research and I development mean, and actual like, I, I don't, budget is yeah, low I compared to like. I thought that uh, the Pokemon the Pokemon plot for the new game was basically like four guys in coats around a campfire in the winter. <laughs> Just like discussing, like, what do we do here? <laughs> well, uh, so it's got to be like a twelve to thirteen year old kid. Um, they se they select if they're a boy or a girl. Uh, oh, it's twenty nineteen. Whoops. Um, oh, yeah, um, they can't do or, that anymore. or other or anything you want. And then, um, okay, let's we, eight, ten, seven gym leaders. Cool, based off of the elements. Four elite four and good. Some some person, some evil organization that wants to turn the world into a Squirtle. Well, they have a dartboard, yeah. So that's like, okay, what does the evil organization want to do? And go on. <laughs> uh, so, so that's how Ruby and Sapphire happened the way they did. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, though, that I definitely... Uh, I don't think there is an excuse for saying, oh, we have a small development team or anything, because, yo, Pokemon has made so much money. Like, this is the most profitable franchise overall possibly yeah in the but world. like yeah, exactly. none of it goes to game uh, sword and shield cost <laughs> them like 20 million dollars to make and they made 650 million yeah, yeah i should be getting the so there's no one around that game freak owns 60 percent of the pokemon company and nintendo owns like i don't know the exact numbers but game freak owns a large portion like there is no excuse in my opinion and a lot of people are saying that the reason that there are all these issues in the game right now is because they're insisting on uh releasing it now and during the holiday season because people are going to buy it as gifts and they're yeah. going to make more money that's part rather, of it yeah yeah rather that's... than postponing it and making it better for the fans they'd rather just I mean, like release fair, the game like... with flaws and add patches it's the way every game does it 
They as much as I appreciate game, another gen of Pokemon, which is really cool, I would also like to see an online version. I'd like to see an open world Pokemon game. No, but like an entirely open world where you can interact with other oh. trainers. So what? Or you can set up shop. So yeah, you want to look <laughs> what? MMO. You want a VMO, uh, an MMO yes. RPG Pokemon? Pokemon MMO official. I- don't Thank, with you. Anime. Thank you, Nox. Like Finally, we're on the same page. The first time ever. Who would have thought? For years. It's Pokemon, crazy. Pokemon I can't believe bringing it people together. See, the main reason the I thing about... I'd be crazy about an MMO is because of kind of what Nux was saying earlier, that I do like like the lore of Pokemon. Like, Gen 5 is my favorite game just because I think it has the most interesting story. with Really? Like, Gen 5? You could still have a lore with yeah. an MMO. Well, I... Yeah, but it's so not the thing as... Is, in... it kind if of you read the manga... Do you read the manga by any chance? Pokemon Adventures? Adventures? Uh, I'm only up to Ruby Sapphire. Farther than me. So, <laughs> well, yeah, you didn't start it yet. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> yeah, all right. So okay. anyway, <clears throat> it's pretty great. Like, the characters that are introduced in the Pokemon games, they can only get fleshed out to a certain extent. Like, uh, in Gen yeah, 5, yeah. you mentioned um, N is one of my favorite characters in the whole Pokemon franchise. Yeah. He's Gen 5, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, no. so I love N, and his character is much more flushed out in, you know, different uh, forms of media. Yeah, that's also why I like Adventures a lot. Like, it made me really like uh, Ruby with his whole, like, beauty thing and, like, uh, the breeding with gold and whatnot. Yeah, it made me it... like the Elite Four. It made me like yeah. every evil organization except for Team uh, Magma. <laughs> Team <laughs> There's not much you can really do with that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, can you imagine writing that. that manga and being like, all right, I have to make their ideology wanting the entire universe to just be water? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, <laughs> what do you do? What do you mean? It, so- it sounds like One Piece. Enru like just chasing, chasing the the la- wants to be king of like Earth or whatever, or, like the landmass. And then you got Luffy. Yes, I will be king of the ocean. <laughs> but can you imagine? Ev- like if I would tell you this, you wouldn't even believe it exists. Yeah, it's true. Two evil organizations fighting to control the world, where each of them either wants the entire planet to be a ball of Earth in which case all of life will die, or a ball of water, in which case most of life will die. Like, or whatever. Uh, a large percent. What about the... Isn't there one that wants to turn it into, like, the sun? Or is that Fire Force? That's Fire Force. Fire Force. <laughs> That's Fire Force. Um, by the way, thank you to everyone who's been, like, donating and subscribing and stuff here on Twitch. We love and appreciate you. Uh, one thing I wanted to say, though, is if Pokemon was an official MMO, they could still do, like, side missions and stuff like that where the lore would come out. Yeah, I mean, like, any good MMO Other is media. constantly updating different events. And different. And bro, imagine yeah, all the yeah. sponsorships we would get as YouTubers to for every expansion of the Pokemon MMO. We're like, yo, check out. Are you kidding right. me? So this is Pokemon why Animac is liking it. All right, all right. Check out the solar region. They got a... They got a fucking organization that wants to turn the Earth into a sun. <laughs> and then it was like, bro, did you just rip off Fire Force? <laughs> They're like, no, Fire Force ripped off Team Magma. Oh. Oh, I don't need new evil organizations. Just make Team Rocket decent characters as opposed to the act- actual losers that were conveyed bro, everywhere else. Nox, I'm in not- the MMO, <laughs> you could join Team Rocket. You could join Team Rocket. I, I, just, I don't think so. I wouldn't like if the MMO went that route. I, I don't want this to be... I don't know. I like the idea that Pokemon was always an adventure. Like, as a kid, I loved Pokemon. I wanted to be in that world. I wanted to go on that adventure. And I feel like that is possible with an open world. What? The mad lad uh, psychopath that is Nux didn't want to join Team Rocket? Can't no. believe it. Yeah. Couldn't be. I'm enough. sorry. Po- Pokemon just hit me before I uh, I went through my psychopath puberty, I guess. Mm. I like before you realized that we live in a society. A fake MMO that everybody would think, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> I, like, I like how this direction went. I no, I, usually when we talk about Pokemon, at some point I go on this rant where I freak out about it not having an online MMO that I can well, play, even though it would take, take away way too much of my time. And I would be complaining how this is taking up way too much of my time. But I would love it. Well, maybe I mean, we should check out the, the Pokey MMO or whatever content. it's called. Actually, great. It just takes a lot of time. 
Sounds like everything. Someone should stream it. Mm. Yes, maybe someone who's never streamed before. Mm. <laughs> yes. I'd come to that stream. Dimitri, do you stream? Yes. Um, I stream. Damn Pokemon it, I'm the only one that doesn't stream. Actually. Damn it. Damn. I actually, I recently made international news because I fucked up really bad streaming Pokemon because I shiny grind. And I didn't know the Pokemon Let's Go had a timer for catching legendaries, so I was fucking around, and then my shiny Mewtwo ran away. And, like, Russian sites started posting about it. There was oh, one no. in Spain. It's, the, so the, fuck up that's so sad. National, national news, yeah. The very first uh, shiny Pokemon I ever encountered, I um I ran away from. The Red Gyarados. Same! I saw, a, I saw a green Zubat, and I was like, this fucking thing looks weird, and I just left. I killed it, I think. <laughs> And then I found out later I was, what it was. I was like, oh. I was in a rush, and I keep on spamming, spamming, run, 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 run. And then, like, I clicked it before my brain realized. I'm like, that's a shiny Geodude. Oh, yeah. First shiny I ever caught was a shiny Geodude. A <laughs> shiny Geodude. What game? Do you remember? Uh, Fire Red. Hmm. I, I actually can't remember. I don't know why I asked. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, same. But, like, no, I, 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 I can't remember. You know, it'd be funny if it's like the first Pokemon you encounter is actually a shiny and you didn't know. Because you never saw the original? Because you wow. never saw it before. <laughs> Just fucking take it out. No mercy. Wow. Wow. That is, that is some mindfuck stuff, guys. Yeah. This, 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 this is Animac saying. He had no idea what we were talking time about. Time to end but... the stream, boys. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, That's exactly what it sounds like. To sum up, guys, to sum up, I think that I'm definitely going to play sword and shield i'm gonna give it a fair shot i do like that it's on a console because i like the switch i like being able to just like lie down like a lazy bastard and just like use the controller and see it on a big screen i like that about this possibility i I played the sun and moon on the 3ds but i wasn't a huge fan of it having to hold it in my hand and like stare at it close and stuff so i'm hoping that this will be good but i also think that there are legitimate criticisms of this so far and of course there's people who are taking it too far but you know that's always it's the internet hey we have in the chat anime can play on his stationary bike yes <laughs> i am watching uh hunter hunter on my stationary bike so there you go that's why earlier yeah. in the episode Think when you more, mentioned hunter man. hunter i said your legs are jacked been riding <laughs> on that thing for uh like 20 years <laughs> I can't believe people you remember. Imagine me the saying, palace but... invasion scene. Goes and walks in and sees Animac like half dead in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Biking. No. Well, I did do I did do the stationary bike when I was rewatching Gurren Lagan. That was not good for me. Um, Lin oh, Don. Did you see oh, Animac oh. on the stationary bike like crying his eyes out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Lin bot oh. two in chat said Pokemon Sword and Shield positives. It is a game. <laughs> Uh, it's probably going to be a, a entertaining and fun game. Just like the I, rest of them. I hold the opinion that there has never been a non-fine Pokemon game. It's just that they have decreased in quality. I was trying to say it earlier, but like, there's like clips of trainers like popping out and in battle. And on the 3DS, we had a lot of um, slowdown issues. But now that we're on the Switch, you would think those are gone. They're still there. I'd imagine they're doing some patches like... along the way. They're just rushing to get it out for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen Poka, the Game Freak patch a game. Um, well, because they were on I'd DS be before, for... right? Now they're yeah, on the Switch. Got patch. Pardon? 3DS got patches in general yeah. for games. It's not Pokemon. I just feel like I never saw it too frequently with like DS games. Whenever I bought a DS game, we usually just that's how it was. Well, versus like every time I turn on my Xbox or my Switch, I always have games. Um, like patches that's to fair. upload or download. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean that's the the thing about today's market. Like they all have like this mindset going. You know, if there is a bug, it doesn't matter. We can just patch it later. You know. Yeah, and it's actually a few games have really been burned because of it because they became memes no, and now have right. a horrible reputation. Well, that's what drives me crazy about people. Call of Duty. Every single time they drop a game, it's never a finished product. No, and and I mean. Ranked play coming soon. When? We don't know. <laughs> I mean, the thing about this Rig, is... Should I stream? Um, <laughs> I, I mean, at this point, it's up to you, man. <laughs> please, please do. Are you getting this Are you getting this game, Nox? Stream this game. 
The thing is, do you need oh, a man. capture card for Switch? I'd imagine yeah, you, you do. Yeah, you need an Elgato capture, or just not an yeah. Elgato, but yeah, yeah. Card. Mine's oh, not I have one. an Elgato. It works okay. Mine's not Elgato, whatever I use, but it's pretty good. I should stream. You should. <laughs> Anything. Somehow. The great thing about streaming games that aren't like Switch or console, you don't need a capture card. You can just use OBS to capture your like screen. Yeah. All right, we'll start with that then. Yeah. Yeah. Start. Whenever start it simple. Happens. And the internet game, just not. You don't need to start with the Switch stuff because, like, oh my god, it's so hard trying to sync everything on it. It's like because everything's different. I'm like. Oh. Yeah. Right, so I was thinking yeah, of like really hype games yeah. I could play that people would want to watch. I was thinking Minesweeper. <laughs> Ooh. People do that. I don't know. Then you can graduate to Tetris. Too hard. I don't I think. I was thinking of uh, Sudoku. <laughs> Sudoku <laughs> for real gamers. Uh, we'll play ping pong, you know. No, what, what's it called? Pinball. Oh my god, pinball. I've been playing pinball forever. Space pinball. <laughs> po- I have the Pokemon <laughs> pin- pinball game for Pokemon Color. But one one thing I wanted to say Damn. is that yeah, I mean there are legitimate criticisms for sure, and the way business works, unfortunately, is if you know that no matter what, when you drop a new Pokemon game, you're gonna make millions and millions of dollars. You're yeah. not gonna feel compelled to make it great because you're like, hey, if we minimize our effort and we put out the game, we're still gonna make money. Our stockholders are still happy. That's what we're gonna do. So, so unfortunately, the thing is, I work. I completely agree with you, and that's because at this point, Game Freak is known as a company. You know, like if you look at Super Smash Bros, for example, and I'm not the biggest Smash fan on the planet, but Sa- I respect Sakurai so yeah. much. He really lo- feels yeah. like he has such a passion for this game. He tried to really make it. As amazing as he could, and I don't his feel last... like Pokemon has that. Yeah, his it, last stream was just him playing the game. game. Really tries to make it as good as he it can. It was actually unplayable when I first bought it. I couldn't play online. Just like, oh, yeah. the um, okay. the delay like was the ridiculous. Guy, the guy did his best. Yeah. Like he tried to include mm. all the best characters. He I, included Sans. Um, so I'm. Happy. I actually quit after a week. Come, <laughs> I just game is garbage. Good fun. <laughs> Fun fact, guys, I lost my mind when I realized that in Mario, the new Mario Power Tennis, whatever it's called, Mario Aces, you could not play a proper full match of tennis. I lost my mind and returned the game. <laughs> wow, that's ridiculous. To be fair, like the, um, the delay is a lot better now in Smash, but when I first got it, like I could only play like on, on land with people like in my house. It's a great party game. I love playing it when people come over, even though the skill... like differences is ridiculous and like you can't really yeah. play competitively against people who don't play the game but uh yeah it was just it was impo- it was so hard to play online but that's a switch yeah, that in general, people really are saying bad. yeah yeah like the, the old gamecube all i want uh, right you... now i want deltarune chapter two and i'll be a happy man oh yeah you well, you can stream that you can stream uh undertale yeah for your... the 150th time yeah, I was gonna say, I never well, that long. Like you, you played it 150 times and never streamed it once. How do you feel? Yeah. Also, I Sam, feel very damn good. Sam I mean, donated I can 100 do commentary bits. to myself. People don't want to hear myself commentary Undertale talking about this very thinly veiled, thinly veiled like plot lines that people don't see. I disagree. Um, Sam donated 100 bits to uh, say you should stream when you hit 100, mil- oh, 100 million. Yeah, one million. He uh, he donated 100 bits, and I think people would be uh, a million people. Would be interested to see you stream and care about your opinion. I I like how this has turned into a bully nux until he streams. No, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like he's motivating yeah. him as his friend. That's true because yeah. he has a lot of potential, and I think he could kill it on Twitch as well as YouTube. Uh-huh. Anyway, anyway, the conclusion of this stream is we are hopeful still for Pokemon Sword and Shield, <laughs> but we are all extremely angry at how much Mario Aces sucks. <laughs> Damn it, Mario Aces! What the fuck, homie? It's tennis. Let me play a full match of tennis. It's a fucking tennis game. Yo, Mario Anyways. Tennis on Nintendo 64 was fire. Uh, Mario Party Tennis on GameCube is like my favorite. It's so good. I uh, Speaking of Toby Fox, you know he did music for Sword and Shield, right? I know. I'm excited yeah. to hear yeah. it. It's a it's a remix of one of his old songs. Of course, it's Toby Fox. Um, I don't know yeah, if you listen to his music. Which song? Yeah. Um, it's the one about that which pregnant song? child that he used as a shit post before, which makes it universally more funny. It was back in Homestuck. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Anyway, guys. It was, some, 
Yeah. Okay. I believe that is the end of the stream. Thank you, thank you so much to Dimitri and Noble for joining us. Yeah, thank you guys. Their yeah, links yeah, yeah. to their uh, their YouTube channels will be down below. I believe they'll both be streaming Pokemon. Is that correct? Uh, I'll be streaming it later down the line. Mm-hmm. And uh, Noble's doing a 24-hour stream because he's crazy. Yeah, it probably beat the game with <laughs> one stream. Let's go. Adam Mac, are you going to stream? Good luck with that. I don't know. I, I might just play for fun. True. I'll probably stream I've... on uh, on Saturday. Unfortunately, I have an exam tomorrow. I feel like Nux is trying yeah. to talk. I see that green light and just nothing's yeah. coming out. And here, doing absolutely nothing. Having it's a great time, code. by the way. He's yeah, he's just making a thumbnail. That's why Don't it's... Uh, it. He's, like, clicking, and that's why it's mm, going great. Okay. Got it. Well, anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Joining thank us. Thank you, guys. For having me. I'll let Animac do the outro. Yeah, it's been an absolute uh, pleasure hanging out and definitely not complaining about stuff. And, uh, yeah, until next time, until the next episode, which is next week, see us, Space Cowboys. Bang! Noble, get fucked. <laughs> oh, he shot my left butt cheek now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs>